In this video, we are looking at how to apply properties of logarithms. So I start with the product property. If I have logarithm to base b of m times n, this is going to equal logarithm to base b of m plus logarithm to base b of n. I go to the quotient property, logarithm to base b, m over n. So this is going to be logarithm to base b of m minus logarithm to base b of n. We go to the power property where you have, I have logarithm to base b of m raised to n. This is going to be n logarithm to base b of m. Now let's use the properties to apply to do some approximation. So if I have logarithm to base 5 or 4 over 9, and you can see here I'm given the values to use. I don't need to use a calculator. I'm told. So I just need to evaluate. So this is going to be logarithm to base 5 of 4 minus logarithm to base 5 of 9, which is going to be 0 0.861 minus 1.365. And this should give us 0 0.504. The next one, I'm given logarithm of 5 to base 5 of 36. And I don't see 36 from the, I only have 4 and 9, but I can be able to break down 36 into 4 and 9. So that's going to be 4 and 9. So now this is going to be logarithm to base 5 of 4, 4 times 9. So logarithm to base 5 of 9 and this time instead of adding instead of subtracting like we did in example 1 we are adding so we have 0 0.861 plus 1.365 and that's going to give us 2.2 2.2 .2, 2.2 six so here now we apply we continue applying the properties of logarithms i'm told to expand here so i'm going to to do logarithm to base three or four plus because i'm multiplying logarithm to base three of x and then number six i'm dividing so logarithm to base three of 7 plus, see this is 2, so using the power property, I'm going to write 2 logarithm to base 3 of x minus logarithm to base 3 of y. Okay, now we go to the next one. So logarithm to base 4 of x we are dividing, so minus, I'll put this in parenthesis, logarithm to base 4 of 3 plus logarithm to base 4 of y. And see, I can remove the parenthesis, logarithm to base 4 of x minus logarithm to base 4 of 3 minus logarithm to base 4 of y. So the same thing. Okay, now the next one here, we have natural logarithm. So there's going to be natural log of 6 plus, this is using the power property 3, natural log of x plus 2, natural log of y. So here we are told to condense. So we are doing the opposite. So I start by writing logarithm, because this is logarithm to base 10, common logarithm. So this is going to be 2, 
and I'll be multiplying that by 3 cubed and I'll be dividing by 9 and we could simplify that to logarithm and this is 354 over 9 54 over 9 because this is 27 times 2 54 we write it clearly 54 over 9 or we could even simplify to log 54 divided by 9 so logarithm of 6 okay the next one and we're not told to seem we just sold to condense so we could just leave it at this point okay now the, the next one we have natural log and then we have 3 and then we have x using the power property so x squared and we are dividing by y the next one we are condensing so i'm going to do logarithm to base 6 of x and i'm dividing i'm dividing that by 4 using the power property so that is 4 squared and then I'll be multiplying that by 3. So this will be the same as logarithm to base 6 of 3x over 16. The next one we have logarithm to base, that's base 10. So that's going to be x to power 6. We're going to multiply by 4 and then multiply by 10 and then multiply by y which we can write logarithm to base 10 of 40 x to power 6 and then y so that will be the answer so here we are going to see how we can use the change of base formula and we are told if a b and c are positive numbers and b cannot be one and c cannot be one so logarithm to base c of a is going to be given by logarithm to base b of a logarithm to base b of c and here if i use the reason we use the change of base formula is if you have a calculator which doesn't only has the logarithm to base 10 like if you look at the buttons on your calculator this is all you see you don't see something like logarithm to base 4 or you cannot be able to put your own base so that's all you have for example so if i have this one here this example and i want to solve it using my regular calculator which is already in base 10 then all I need to do is to write logarithm, which is to logarithm to base 10 of 11 minus logarithm to base 10 of logarithm base 10 of 6. And if I do this on the calculator, I will get 0 0.2632. And I'll just stop there. I'll just show you how to use the common logarithm because you can be able to use to do this on the other calculators the like the ti inspire they can and they allow you to put the base that you actually have 